Welcome to Abstarbras. Do you want to use Google AI but in your own application for free? Do you want to create your own apps with Google AI for free? In this video, I will guide you through how can you do that using Google Gemini Pro API for free. API is application programming interface. This is how it works. You get the API key from the provider, hit a provided URL with your request. It will respond back with the data that you requested. You use that data in your application. Simple. That being said, APIs cost, but we have a way to use free API. This is Google AI Studio. Search Google AI Studio and you will land here. AIstudio.google.com. This is the AI's future, I believe. I trust in this more than OpenAI. Anyways, right now you can use Google AI for free in this AI studio. Under models, click drop down and would you look at that. Gemini 2.0 Flash, Gemini 2.0 Flash Light Preview, Gemini 2.0 Pro Experimental, Gemini 2.0 Flash Thinking, Gemini 2.0 Flash Experimental, Learn LM 1.5 Pro, Gemini 1.5, Gemini 1.5 Pro, Gemini 1.5 Flash, Gemini 2 2B, 9B. 270B. This is Gemini 2. These are ready to be used here. But this is not your website. You want to use Google AI in your website, right? So to do that, search Open Router. It will take you to this website. OpenRouter.ai. It provides API key for free. Create free account with them and then generate a free API key. From here, go to Keys and generate a free API key. I have already generated one. I can generate more. I will use this key for this tutorial and then I will delete it. Don't use this key. Get yourself a new key for your project, okay? After you get the key on this side, search Google Gemini here. You see this Google Gemini Pro 2.0 experimental. It is free model. Or you can go here as well. Click models. Search Google Gemini and see here Google Gemini Pro 2.2 experimental free. This is Google Gemini Pro for free. Click here and at this page, click API. Now you can generate API key if you have not by clicking this button. You will need API key from Open Router. This API key is from Open Router, not from Google. Open Router is allowing you to use other services through it via a free API key. I hope it makes sense. Okay, so this is the code we have to use. This one. Here we have to use API key and this will be the model name. I will copy the model name. I have already created an example page where I used JavaScript to implement this. I will link the full tutorial to build this little app in description. Here, I will just explain it's working and modify it according to our requirement. So I used Bootstrap for a little bit of styling and usually we get markdown based response from these services. So I used marked library to convert response into HTML. In CSS style, I'm modifying response for better look and feel. In the HTML, I have got an input, a button, and a response div. Button will trigger a function on click. Response div will show response from API. We will inject the response in this div. This is our async function, send message. Here we get the input and response div as input and response div. If input is empty on click of the button, we show the error message. Otherwise, we show loading text. And this loading text will be replaced when the real response will arrive. We will replace this loading text with that response. And this is try catch block. In try, we do something. If that is not successful, we catch the error and display the error in response div. But we do main thing here. So here is the script. This is similar to this script. So fetch this URL, fetch this URL, open router, method is post, authorization bearer this is our api key and then body json dot stringify model and message we've got model and messages inside messages role user and content type text and then the text inside messages role user and content 
input and the model was this okay so here i am showing you text based response example our example is based on text response this model is multimodal it can also process images for that you'll have to use these extra lines of code and provide image url then this model can work with images as well but we are dealing with text response in this video if you want me to show you image based response do let me know i will make that tutorial as well anyways we get the data here response.json this response.json we convert it into json then console log data it will help us to see the response and dig into the response to get the required data and from the data we get the content and display it in the response div but after converting markdown to html question sign period here is optional chaining operator in javascript it allows you to safely access deeply nested properties of an object without causing an error if any part of the chain is null or undefined okay so let's say this example we had created this example already all we had to change here is this model rest is the same and this is the api key so this is the output let's test it what is the difference between javascript and java ask and here is the response java and javascript despite the similar names are vastly different programming languages they have different purposes syntax execution environments and underlying philosophies okay so this is the response very detailed response wow i like it let's ask another question wordpress or shopify which one is better and see this is the response we received earlier it was marked down and we converted it into html and here is the response this one wordpress and shopify are both extra platforms but they serve very different purposes and have different strengths and weaknesses nature pros and cons very detailed answer shopify pros and cons the key questions to ask yourself simplified recommendations choose shopify if choose wordpress with woocommerce if Consider a hybrid approach, advance. Amazing, amazing. So it works. We are receiving data from Google Gemini Pro for free by using free API key from Open Router. You can create chatbots and AI applications by using this technique. And let me show you one thing more. I go to models, then I select pricing low to high. And then google you see these are all free google gemini flash light 2 pro free google gemini pro 2.0 experimental free and then google gemini flash 2 experimental free google gemini experimental free learn lm 1.5 pro experimental free google gemma 2 9b free these are all free and you can use any of these in the same way all you have to do is to change this model name get the model name from there and change this model name here to use different flavor of ai so there are so many free google ais that you can use in the same way okay i hope you liked this video give this video a like subscribe to this channel and i will see you in the next one